Hello everybody, Luke back from The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to easily set up parental controls for your Family Link account. Now this is the Google parental control system where you can create an account for your kids, log it in on an Android device, and have full control over what they can do and what they cannot do within Google. Now there are some limitations to this. We'll give you some tips, tricks, and a whole lot more in this video in a moment. First though, if you're new here, do me a big favor hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So they recommend our videos to more people helping us grow this channel. We would really appreciate it. Doing one or both, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that thumbs up is a huge help to us. So with that said, let's dive into it. Now this is the home screen here for the Google um, parental control settings. I will put a link to this on the bottom of the video in the first pinned comment and in the show notes. Now that will take you to a screen where you can select which kid you wanna um, work on. So if you have multiple kids, you can have multiple different settings for different age groups of kids. If you have a nine-year-old and a 15-year-old, they can be have different restrictions, different access, for example. And we'll put that there. Just click on whichever kid you want to find this screen. So here you go. Here are the parental controls. There's a lot you can do here. You can be extremely limiting or you can be fairly relaxed in it. I'll show you how I have it set up and what you can do with it. Let's start off with Google Play controls. Now the Google Play controls in here controls what apps and um, TV, movie, age ranges, book restrictions, and so forth that your kids can have. Now there's a couple ways to do this. You can set restrictions in here and say whatever age range they want, or you can do what I do. And I actually have it set up for parental permission to download new apps. My daughter's under 10. This seems to be a good fit for her age right now. They can set it up that they, you know, only uh, purchases, only apps within purchase apps or no approval needed at all. I thought it was just easier for us as a family to have it set for all. My daughter can send me a request on my phone. It'll appear to request a new app or I can go to her phone, enter my password to get her ability for her to download new apps. Now it does not prevent her from updating apps and that kind of stuff, but just about downloading new apps which is a pretty cool feature. Like I said though, or you can go into it and set specific age range levels for each type of app. But if you're a parent and you have a young kid, I would recommend doing the um, screen each app individually where they have to ask you permission by requiring approval for all apps. And you can do that right here at the top. Now let's go down to websites. Now this is a pretty cool feature here. You can actually specifically ban um, individual sites and you can try to block um, the ones through Google allow all or only allow approved sites so we have it to try to block explicit sites and you can view her search history in here clicking on manage sites actually allows you to go and specifically ban ones for example if your kids are going to a website you don't want them to be on you can just go to that web or go to this setting click on manage sites and ban a specific site Maybe it's a dating site. Maybe it's just a website that you don't really want them on because it's not quite at their age level. They can do that. Or you can prove our, um, only have approved sites. Now, if you have a very young kid and you only want them going to a few specific websites, when my daughter was four, three and four, that's probably what I would have done if we were using this is say, hey, here are the five or 10 sites you can go to. Or as your kids get older, you can allow all sites someday in the future with that. Pretty cool. I, I like the try to block explicit sites. Seems to do a good job of blocking out adult content. And then just a few times over the last four or five years we've been using this, have we discovered that, hey, there's something that she's going to that we really don't want her on. And I go into manage sites and I specifically block that site. Next up is uh, YouTube settings. Now you can go into YouTube here and set all kinds of limitations on what age ranges they can go to and a whole lot more. And it looks just like this. It's a pretty nice little setup here. You can um, edit what kind of content range you want. This is for YouTube regular, then there's YouTube kids. Um, my daughter now being nine, we're allowing her to go on regular YouTube with some um, access here. And you can go in here and turn on and off search, for example, if you don't want her searching for videos. And you can edit out what kind of different um, features they have. You can pause, watch history, you can clear it. You can disable autoplay so it doesn't automatically play more videos. And you can um, block or unblock videos. And you can also see 
what her search his, uh, review history has been, which is a pretty cool little feature there. All right, let's keep moving along. Apps for Google Assistant. Now, um, here we go. This allows you to kind of control her voice um, searches and more. Not a whole lot here other than turning off personalized results, where if you don't want Google keeping data and personalizing the results for her, you can disable that. Um, not a whole lot on that there. Filters on Google search. Now this is a pretty nice one. Again, by default, safe search will be on. You can disable it if for some reason, maybe you're doing a science project and it requires maybe um, triggering some of the safe search is there, you wanna disable it um, and you can do that. Beyond that, there's not a whole lot here to mess with. Um, safe search in our experience has been very good at blocking out the stuff we don't want her to be on. And then lastly, the big one here is the Android apps. Now, this is a pretty cool one. You can block out certain apps as your kids are growing up. Um, for example, if you don't want your kids calling or making phone calls, messing with the calculator, I don't know why you'd block out that one. But you can even remove Google apps like Gmail, Google Assistant, Calendar, and a whole lot more. You don't want them browsing the web, you can disable that here. You can have your kids just be forced to use the apps that come with it and not be able to browse with it. So you can really decide what you want to do here with this. Uh, it's a pretty fun little thing. I really do like the fact that you can go through here and approve each individual app, even the system apps. You know, a lot of times it's like, hey, I can block out the ability for them to download new apps that I don't approve, but what about the apps that are built into Google? Maybe I don't want my kid getting into Google Chrome. Maybe they've been getting into trouble there and I won't block it. Well, just by toggling the switch, you've blocked that app. They no longer can use it, which is really nice. And you can also go in there and decide what photos you're willing to let them share up to Google Photos, backup, and more. There is one catch here, and it's this. It's very simple. Once they download an app that's not a Google app, you need to set up the parental controls for that app. So if you go download TikTok or something, Google is no longer filtering that content. Once they launch the app, if you've approved the downloading and you've approved for them to use it, you now need to go into TikTok to match, mess with their settings, for example, or Instagram or Facebook. This is really about parental controls on the Google level. It can block the ability to get to an app, but once you're in an app, that app is run by Amazon, Facebook, Meta, whatever they call themselves nowadays, etc. So it's important to remember that, that you cannot just say, hey, I am uh, got Google parental control, so all the apps on here are good, right? No, the Google apps are. The Google Chrome, the YouTube, et cetera, is controlled by this. But downloading third-party apps means you need to look into the parental controls on those third-party apps. So keep that in mind. Overall, very easy to use, very easy to set up here. Highly recommend as a parent you use this. We actually love the fact that someday we got our daughter a really good professional sounding email someday when she's older, she'll be able to use that as an email to go apply for jobs and so forth as a Gmail account that she'll have for her life, which is a pretty cool feature here. And I do love the parent level controls on this. So there you go. There is the parental controls for Google Families, how you can set it up to keep your kids safe. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So until next time, take care, be safe. We'll be back again real soon.